If you imagine that a volcanic system is like a can of Coke, and it's you know it, it has a small hole in it, sometimes it gets blocked up, sometimes it, it's it allows you know, material to come out. When you have a large earthquake near to a volcanic system, it's like taking that can and giving it a violent shake. Now, in the case of Mount Azo, it's been right next to a very large earthquake, and only a few months later, it then, then erupted. Mount Azu and Mount Kuju have been subjected to very large deformations beneath the volcanoes. Now, Mount Azu has subsequently erupted, but Mount Kuju hasn't yet, and in fact hasn't erupted for a good number of years. Interesting question then is, how much closer has the Kumamoto earthquake brought Mount Kuju to erupting? So where are we now with the volcanic hazard in Kyushu?